So it is picture time. How exciting is that? We are so excited to be at this stage with you. And I know we've talked about the house and staging and what we need to keep and what we need to let go. Let's talk specifically about pictures now and what we need to do to make those look amazing online because the better the house looks online, the more money we're gonna get for it, the faster it's gonna sell and the more people are gonna come look at it. So those are all things that we want and we need to work as a team to make that happen. So what we're looking for is model home. I know nobody lives like that, I certainly don't, but we need to make it look as model home-like as possible. So what does that mean? So that means there's not a lot of knickknacks around. There's not a lot of personalization because when, when we have personalization, people start thinking about you in the home and we really want them to be thinking about themselves in the home. So put away the knickknacks. You can start packing those or donating things that you know that you're not gonna keep. Uh, family photos, the same thing. We wanna put most of the family photos away and surfaces, we just want the surfaces clean. So that includes um, coffee tables. You can have one staging thing, like a, a special thing on your coffee table or your dining room table, but not a lot of knickknacks, bookcases, also clean those out. We just want everything to be very simple and that helps people be able to see the space in the house instead of seeing the things because that's distracting to people sometimes. So surface is mostly clean. In the kitchen, same thing, countertops pretty much cleaned off. No magnets or photos or things on the refrigerator. We want to make sure that even rugs on the floor are also a little bit distracting. I don't put hand towels out or even soap. The soap and those things will be fine during showings. Tissue boxes, mail, that kind of stuff. We want all of that stuff to be put away so that every just thing seems very clean and spacious. It's, sometimes it's easy if you just get a little bin, especially for showings, where you can just scoop that mail or whatever and throw it in the car with you on your way out. Also, when we take photo photos, it's, it's, we don't usually take pictures of the garage or of the closets, and so those are some good places to stash things if you need to for the photos. We don't want garbage cans out, so not the kitchen garbage can, no pet bowls, um, and same in the bathrooms. We don't want to see the garbage can. We don't want to see the plunger, anything, Anything extra, we want that out of the room so that the pictures, again, look very simple and clean and neat. In the bedrooms, you want to make your bed. Again, make sure the nightstands are, fluff those pillows, you know, make sure the nightstands are all clean. And um, no toys, so kids' toys, we want to put as many of the kids' toys away as we possibly can. Outside, we're going to want to make sure that if it's seasonally good, we can have pillows out, we can have the umbrella up. Um, the, it's all cleaned off, so no debris blow off the leaves of the patio or the deck. Make that all simple and clean as well. And in the front, no cars in the, in the driveway. We don't put, move those cars out for the, for the photographer. So if you can do some of these things, we will be there again to help you. Take a look at the checklist and make sure that, that you can get all of that accomplished. Let us know if you have questions about any of it. We're excited to be there for photos. We're excited to come help you and get this whole process started. Mm -hmm.